Hey, Ella, I'm just calling to check in with you. It's Monday morning around just a little bit before noon. Um, give me a call. I'm just working kind of running. I had to run an error or two out here in Boise. I'm trying to figure out a way um, and a timeline to get back and stuff. I sent mom a note last night, but I'll talk to you later. I love you very much. Bye. This was March 23rd, 2020. Just a little over a week after schools closed, travel stopped, and our country shut down for the global COVID-19 pandemic. My dad was in Boise, Idaho at the time of the closure, and we didn't know it then, but my sisters and I wouldn't see him for another four months. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me rewind it back to the beginning. I guess you could say it started on a boat, though a little bigger than any Nordhaven ones. Our first trip together and the first time meeting each other was on a cruise ship. A weird choice considering that at the time we were two completely different families, one from Pennsylvania and and another Idaho. Yet, I guess the benefit of a boat is that you have to spend time together and work out your differences. There's nowhere else to go, a strategy that we are still using. Our first trip of success, we met up again the next year. And the next. There were times where it was difficult. We started as two completely separate families, yet each year we became closer and grew into our roles in our blended family. Eventually, a ring was proposed, and the next year it was made official. On a boat, of course. The following years were filled with more trips and trying to see each other as often as possible. We went on more boats, saw some awesome places, and grew together as a family. Then came March 2020. We're back to the voicemail. This year, it was questionable if we would be able to see each other at all. Fortunately, we did get a month together, yet separation made us realize just how important family is. At this point, we already knew how limited our time was. We wouldn't be kids forever. Soon, school and work and other lives would take over our time and gradually split us apart. Thus was born Sisu, a name coming from a Finnish word that has no direct translation in English, but generally means a combination of grit and determination. Two traits that were necessary to get us up to this point together as a family and would definitely be necessary if we wanted to really thrive with boat life. We learned quickly that living on our own boat would be nothing like the big cushy boats we were used to. For starters, there was no all-you-can-eat buffet. Instead, we had to learn how to do just about everything. Cooking, cleaning, docking, unclogging the toilets, everything for ourselves. But over our first summer, we slowly settled into our roles on the boat and really started to get a taste for what boat life is. This past summer, we came back for our second summer, ready for more adventures on the boat. We took our maiden voyage with everyone together and traveled for two weeks along the coast of British Columbia and Desolation Sound. During this trip, I think we truly realized what boat life is really like and grew even stronger as a family. And we're ready for more summers spent together on the boat.
What's your favorite part about boat life? Being able to spend time with my family. I think it will have to be peeing on other people's pee to save water. Thank you. I really enjoy being out on the water and spending time with my family. That was so important to me. And also visiting all the different islands and places along the way and meeting new friends along the way. And everyone is so wonderful and nice out on the water. Thank you. What's your favorite, What's your favorite part, part about boat life? Probably the relaxed living. Like you get to sleep in every morning and every day. Lunch, dinner, and breakfast is made by yours truly. And a hummel. And a hummel, <laughs> not me. <laughs> the ability to go places we've never been before and to do it as a team and explore not just locally but be able to explore the world what's your favorite part about boat life <laughs> i'm sorry okay. seeing all the new places <laughs> i can't i can't okay. i like being outside in nature seeing new things seeing you guys experience new things together and having quality time being able to snack all day um, I think it's that, like, it's mobile. You get to see different things every day and, like, wake up in a different dock or, like, marina, like, every night or every morning. <laughs> and then, like, when you're on the water, like, we've seen, like, three pods of orcas, like, whale. Um, apparently, I missed two others, but, like, it's more exciting than just life on land. My favorite part about boat life is getting seasick. Favorite part about boat life, Oscar. 